Hey everyone, my name is Leah and welcome to my channel. I haven't posted in quite a while and when I did post, it was only a couple posts after not posting for like two years. I really wanted to continue with booktube but my job kind of took over my life for a bit. And now I'm doing some work but not really working because everything. So I figured now would be a perfect time to try to get back into booktube and a way to motivate me to actually read some things. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing my TBR for the Stay Home Reading Rush, which is between April 16th and 19th. Ariel posted a video with all the prompts for the Reading Rush as well as a little tag for the Reading Rush, which I will post down below. So in addition to my TBR, I'll just be going through this tag really quick. The first question in the tag is, how is your reading going while staying home? Um, it could be doing a lot better. I kind of fell into a reading slump and I've had a really hard time reading. Yesterday I actually read the first physical book that I've read this entire time. Instead I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks while playing Animal Crossing and listening to those has helped me not get behind on my Goodreads reading challenge which is really great. But now I've at least read one physical book and I'm really hoping that kind of forcing myself to do the reading rush is going to make me actually read some physical books. Because as much as I love audiobooks, I tend to have a really hard time listening to audiobooks of books that I haven't read yet. When I listen to audiobooks, it tends to be books that I'm rereading because sometimes I have a hard time focusing or I lose track of what's happening. And so it's a lot easier for me if I've read the story before. The second question in the tag is where have you been reading at home? And pretty much my bed. That's where I did all my physical reading of the book I read yesterday and as for my audiobooks I've been listening to them a lot while I sit in bed playing Animal Crossing but also sometimes when I'm cooking and doing other stuff. The third question is best book you've read during isolation. I've only read one book that wasn't a reread so I'm going to pick that but also it was amazing and that book is Check Please Book 2 Six and Stones by Ngozi Yukazu. I... I love Check Please. Check Please started out as a webcomic in 2013 and it follows the main character, Biddy, who is a southern gay boy from Georgia who plays hockey, follows him in college and all of his hockey adventures and all of his friends, and it's so good, so cute, so pure, so... And the author got a publishing deal a couple years ago and book one, which was published last year, follows years one and two of Biddy at College. And this book, book two, follows years three and four. And this is the end of it. I had already read the end of the comic online before I read this and I had already cried over the ending because it was so good. But I read this and reading this whole thing, having read the end, you see so much foreshadowing and so many parallels because Ngozi is a storytelling genius. Also this book includes a comic that wasn't posted online as well as some extras and some tweets and they were so good and so funny. Oh, so good. If you haven't read this, go. This was exactly what I needed right now and I'm hoping that this got me out of my reading slump because after reading this I actually want to do a lot more reading. The next question in the tag is what is your ultimate feel-good book? And I'd say I have a few and actually if you're interested I might make a video talking about all of my feel-good books because I feel like everyone could really use some feel-good books right now. But the book I'm going to talk about is the first audiobook that I listened to during this time and that's the audiobook of Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I read this book for the first time on January 1st this year. I borrowed the ebook from the library and I read it in one day, cried, immediately went online and ordered the book and it came two days later and I read it again. That's how much I love this book. It's so good and it's exactly the kind of feel-good romance goodness I needed right now. So I'm so glad I listened to the audiobook. I actually got to see Casey McQuiston do a talk a couple months ago and it was amazing and she signed my book and commented on the fact that I had tabbed it up and it was amazing. The next question is what is one book you wish you could buy or borrow? And that's going to be Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman. I've been meaning to read Heartstopper for quite a while and I was about to put a hold on it at the library when all of this happened and now all the libraries are closed and I can't get it and I want to read it especially now that I finished Check Please. I really want to start another good gay comic. I have it on my Amazon wish list and I want to buy it, but I'm trying not to spend money right now because who knows if I'm going to be able to find a job after this. 
The next question in a tag is pick an author to shout out, and I think for that I'm going to go with Ngozi Ukazu, who's the author of Check Please, because I love her presence on Twitter and everywhere, and just everything she's done with Check Please has been perfect and amazing, and Check Please is honestly getting me through this isolation, so thank you. And now the last question of the tag is, what is your stay-at-home reading rush TBR? There are four prompts for the stay-at-home reading rush. The first is read a book with a house on the cover. The second is read a book in the same room the whole time. The third is read a book set somewhere you wish you could go. And the fourth is read a book that will make you smile. So for the first prompt, I'm cheating a little bit, and it's not a physical house on the cover, but it's the word house, and that is The House of the Scorpion by Nancy Farmer. I've been meaning to do a buddy read of this with a friend of mine for several weeks now but then I fell into my massive reading slump and couldn't read anything and when I saw the prompt with house I was like this is perfect it's the time I'm going to do it so this is a YA dystopian science fiction fantasy I think um, and it follows this boy named Matt who wasn't actually born he was harvested and also I think he's a clone I might be wrong about that I'm not sure and I'm really looking forward to buddy reading this with my friend. I'm actually going to double up on the second and third prompts, and I'm going to read the book in the same room at the whole time. And so for the summer you wish you could go, I am picking the first Adventure Zone graphic novel. This graphic novel is based on the podcast The Adventure Zone, which is a Dungeons & Dragons podcast hosted by the McElroy family. I've gotten really into Dungeons & Dragons in the last year. I am in two different campaigns, as well as a mini campaign that's now happening with the people I live with, because we're all stuck. And I've done a couple one shots in the last month because we're all stuck in isolation. I really enjoy the Adventure Zone podcast and I'm really looking forward to reading the graphic novel and who doesn't want to go have adventures in a fantasy land right now? The last prompt is read a book that will make you smile and for that I'm choosing Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. I've actually read this before. It's a really cute graphic novel about this girl who's a shapeshifter and a sidekick to a supervillain. I haven't read it in quite a long time and I've been really looking forward to rereading this so I figured it was a really good time. So that's three books, two of which are graphic novels, so I think that's a reasonable goal for me to get through in four days. But if I have time, I'm going to try to do a fourth book, and in that case I wouldn't be doubling up on the second and third prompts. So for the read a book in one room the whole time, I'll be reading A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. This book follows Jamie Watson, who I'm assuming is a descendant of Watson, and Charlotte Holmes, who's a descendant of Sherlock Holmes, and it's a fun little YA mystery, and I need something fun and quick and easy to read right now and I feel like this will be it. I'm a really big fan of mystery though I haven't read that much YA mystery and I don't know how I'll feel about it but I'm excited to get to this. That's it for my stay home reading rush TBR. I think I might be doing a reading vlog for this so if that's something you'd like to see you can hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. See you later. And that, and that, and that, blah, 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 woo, I wish I could speak like a normal human being. And it, it, and that is how the, the house.